Uh, if you want to think about the magnitude of the work that is involved here, you know, so far 13,000 tons of stuff has been removed from here. It is an extremely painstaking process, and Richard Roth, uh, one of our own correspondents, is standing about 10 blocks from that area right now, and um, he can probably give us some more insights as to uh, what these rescuers continue to uh, face. What are you seeing from, from your uh, location today? Well, Paula, the large cloud of smoke is still uh, present. It's back to a clear blue sky, uh, very similar conditions to that Tuesday when the passenger plane struck the World Trade Center towers. Uh, the workers uh, continue to take rubble out by truck, dump truck. Uh, those are kind of the major sounds you do hear from the distance. We're about eight to ten blocks north of the site, and you hear a large a rumble, a crash of glass or something. And there's a big American flag that's now been put up on the American Express uh, a corporate building that at one point earlier in the week was uh, deemed a little bit uh, risky to rescue workers. Uh, President Bush, Paula, had noted earlier today that Americans should return to their everyday lives, but I think uh, the big issue for many people will be the fear. Fear of flying, fear of security. Uh, with me now, right now, is uh, one passenger who was on one of the first planes to leave Oakland, California yesterday uh, to head to the East Coast, Donald Kinsman. Uh, and what he went through and some of the other passengers, uh, nothing actually happen, but what, what went on during the flight? Tell us the mood when you boarded and how the passengers looked and sounded. We boarded the plane. It was incredibly somber. It seemed like everybody was fearful, quiet. Flight attendant, though? Flight attendant seemed nervous to me. Uh, other pilots coming off other planes. One was crying, though? You one of the flight attendants I was told was crying. I didn't see that. And then about an hour before the plane got to New York, just describe what happened in the plane. Well, a couple, a couple, a couple guys got up in the aisle. I, I, you know, they, they could have been mi Middle Eastern descent. They looked like, you know, they might have been. Um, and I, I people got a little antsy, including myself. I, everybody was sort of looking and uh, a little nervous. And all of a sudden... I noticed that there were a couple passengers up in front, up by the pilot's door, um, along with the JetBlue employees. They were all up close to the pilot's door, and everybody was sort of looking back and forth, trying to be calm, but you sensed that there was a, a tension and a nervousness. JetBlue being one of America's newer airlines, uh, one of your friends, uh, one of the other passengers, had told me that uh, some of the huskier passengers stood up in the aisle as if uh, to say, we're ready to take you on, should you indeed be somebody posing trouble. I, I sort of interpreted it that way, yes, yeah. I mean, I, yeah, I, I think that's what was going on. I mean, yeah. What did you see uh, from your passenger jet as you approached Manhattan of the former World Trade Center site? We flew right over the site. We flew right over it. We saw it. And um, the woman behind me started crying. It was a pretty emotional moment, I have to say. And JetBlue is an airline which provides live telecasts of all news channels. So thus, you were what happened on the flight? We were watching the planes crashing into the towers probably three times. Finally, my wife sort of nudged me and made me turn it off. She said, I can't see this anymore. You know, so... So it was, uh, it, it was, it was scary. It was scary. It was, I didn't know if we'd get here. I mean, there was no reason why we wouldn't. But you know, you were, you were thinking that the whole time. Okay, so. Donald Kinsman, thank you very much. You were with your wife on your honeymoon out there in California. You're transiting up to Buffalo later today. Uh, some of the fear that no doubt many passengers will be undergoing uh, in flights to come. Judy.